Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and it's time for another donation unboxing video. This will be a short one. We got two boxes in the month of May. Uh, thank you to the folks that sent stuff, and these boxes are from longtime, really good friends of the channel, so I'm really excited to see what's in here. Uh, as always, if you'd like to donate something to the channel, um, I don't ask you to do that. Uh, you can do it if you want to. Um, I, I appreciate everyone who is just watching the videos. Uh, you do not have to send me anything, but if you would like to send something and if you'd like to have it in uh, a video like this, uh, you can send it to my P.O. box. The P.O. box will be on your screen right now. Um, and uh, all I can say is uh, thank you. Deepest thank you to everyone. Um, of course, right now we do have the virus going around, so please be safe uh, if you decide to get out uh, and send something. Uh, you know, make sure that you're practicing reasonable precautions. I would not want anyone to be unsafe uh, just to send something to me, okay? So I'd rather uh, not get anything than to have somebody put themselves at risk uh, to send something. So please be cautious. Uh, but if you can do it safely, um, you can send it to my P.O. box. I've already cut the tape on these boxes so I can easily open them up and show you what I have. And I'm going to start with this one. Uh, this is from uh, Byron. Byron, also known as Joe Motion Videos 82. Uh, Byron's been a long time friend of the channel and a friend of me. Uh, and he sends this box and uh, I'm just going to open it and see what it is. Um, Opening, hold on. Uh, <laughs> hey, just hang on here just a second. Oh, 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 wait, it opens this way. There we go, there we, hey, okay, cool, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um, we have, I gotta zoom this in so you can see. Um, there we go. We have a Cobra lanyard. Check that out. Uh, I'm, I may, I may replace my work lanyard with this one because, it, hey, it's Cobra. That is awesome. Representing Cobra. It's blue and silver. Like um, like Falcon uh, or uh, a Viper glider pilot. Um, that is awesome. Thank you for that. And, okay. We have a bunch of patches in here. And this, this is significant because uh, I'm actually working on a shirt uh, for patches and pins um, for G.I. Joe and also for all of my travels. I'm picking up souvenir patches and pins to put on uh, a shirt. And um, uh, uh, Byron sends some that will be perfect. Um, what do we have here? We have uh, the Defiant Shuttle, G.I. Joe Shuttle Defiant. We have the G.I. Joe Tomahawk, brilliant. Ah, ha, ha, ha. We have, from my favorite vehicle, the killer whale. That's, that's lovely. And finally, oh, Cobra is represented too. Oh no, this isn't Cobra. This is from the, this is from the Vamp Mark II. That's that, um, uh, the scorpion with a dagger on it that's on the Vamp Mark II. These are awesome, um, and I am going to put these on my uh, patch shirt. Uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm really happy with the thing. It's, it's just a way to display all of these uh, patches that I get. And so I have some vintage G.I. Joe patches on it. I um, also have some pins uh, from various places that I've been. Um, I got a pin from the 2014 Joe Con because that was the first Joe Con that I went to. Uh, so I have that represented on there. I have some uh, old vintage pins. Um, so yeah, I, th this shirt, I think I'm going to wear it to, you know, conventions. I'll wear it to Joe Fest. Um, and, uh, yeah, kind of show off, uh, all the cool places that I've been and these wicked cool GI Joe patches. So thank you, Byron. And thank you for being a friend for such a long time. Okay. So Byron sent something that will be immediately useful. I will use those right away. And, uh, this is from James Thompson. James has sent stuff to us before. Uh, let me back that out a little bit. There we go. And so let's see what James has sent. Uh, I have cut the tape so I can open this easily. And right off the bat, I see a letter. 
Uh, and you, you wrote in a large enough uh, uh, size that I can read it without... I had my glasses ready just in case, but I can read this without my glasses. It says HCC 788. That's me. Uh, here's that thing I told you about. Hope you enjoyed putting it together. Um, fe uh, Ferric, uh, James L. Thompson. Okay. Um, let's see. So the, apparently this is something that I'm supposed to put together. Uh, I have been doing some uh, vintage vehicle unboxings. Um, I usually just do things from the 90s because they're usually readily available. Um, and I did mention in the last one that I'm out of things, uh, sealed box items to uh, open and assemble. And so he's, since he says put together, I'm assuming that it's uh, a 90s vehicle is my assumption. So now I will open the box and see what we got. Oh! That's not a 90s vehicle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That, that's, that's not a 90s vehicle. Um, oh my. Oh, okay. Um, that, oh my goodness. That's the 1987 Cobra Wolf. Look at that. It's, uh, it's got a, a vacuum seal around the box. Uh, the figure, the, the ice viper is still in there. Um, and it appears to be unopened. So, um, that's, a, that's, an, that's a, an 80s boxed vehicle. Mint in sealed box. With like, it's like vacuum sealed. Um, this is, this is not, not, this is not my usual thing. This is, um, this is exceptional. Um, and all I can say is, wow. James, are you sure you want me to open this up and put it together? That's, I mean, cause I will, don't, don't think I won't do it. I mean, I, I will, I will. Um, uh, but that's, uh, this is not, you know, just your typical common 90s vehicle uh, that I would be opening here. Um, if, uh, if you're really comfortable with sending this to me for the purpose of opening and assembling, um, yeah, I'll do it. Um, and all I can do is say thank you, James. That is, that's incredible. That was unexpected. That's, that's the Cobra Wolf. In the box. I'm sorry for going all gaga over this, but this is uh, this is not the typical thing that I that I get sent. And I was at one time sent uh, the Cobra Sea Ray, which I opened. Um, so this is um, this is definitely on par with that. Um, and definitely, I would not have done this for myself. I, I never would have purchased uh, a 1987 vehicle um, to open. Um, so uh, thank you, James. Uh, thank you. That's, um, that's pretty incredible. Thank you very much. And that's it. That's what we got this month. Um, and uh, all, all I can say is my deepest thanks uh, to Byron uh, and to James for, for sending these. Um, I, these are, are fantastic. Uh, both things that uh, will probably get used right away. <laughs> um, very thoughtful very thoughtful uh, from both of you. So thank you very much. But thanks to all of you just for watching the videos. Um, I sincerely am just happy to have you going along uh, this journey with me uh, and just enjoying uh, G.I. Joe. Um, maybe we don't enjoy it exactly the same way we did when we were kids, but we're finding new ways to enjoy G.I. Joe. Um, so thank you for being here. Uh, as I've said, you do not have to send anything to the channel. Uh, if you do choose to send something, I will put it in a video like this. Uh, the P.O. box will be on your screen now. Um, and uh, yeah, all I can say is thank you. Be safe. Always be safe. Um, and I'm going to get back to working on uh, another vintage G.I. Joe toy review. I hope you join me for that. Um, I will see you next time. And until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.